Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom wrappers for the 9 ounce paper party cups that you find at the Dollar Tree. This is a highly requested video. We're going to be working over on Canva. Now, normally I do show you all how to create these templates yourself if you choose to, but when it comes to cups and tumblers and cotton candy tubes, things like that, you cannot correct the shape needed for those items in Canva. So I'm going to have to pre-make these templates for you all. So if you're interested in learning how to create a custom wrappers for your cups, make sure you watch the video to the end. And if you don't already have the template for the cup, you can grab it by clicking the link in the description box down below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned. Guys, to get started, the first thing you want to do is click the link that was provided to you within the template files. It's going to take you directly to Canva. If you don't already have access to the template, you can find the link in the description box down below to download it. Once you pull up that link, you want to select Use Template. Once the blank template pulls up, you're going to see this template. And you're also going to see this. It says click the gray area to change the template background color. So you will click this gray area if you wanted to change the template background color. And you will select the new color that you want to use. You can click this plus button to add a custom color. Now let's say you wanted to use an image as your background. What you'll do, you'll head on over to your uploads tab and you will upload the image you want to use. You'll also upload any clip arts or additional images you want to use in your design. I'm going to pull up my folder that I want to use. When you have the pro version of Canva, you can save all of your images and clip arts in different folders to help you keep them organized. But if you don't have Canva Pro, you can find everything you just uploaded under the Uploads tab. Now I'm going to select the image that I want to use. To add this image to the background of my wrapper, we can do this two different ways. First, the first way is by selecting the image. You're going to right click and you're going to scroll all the way down to replace background. As you can see, the image is in the background of my wrapper. We can do it this way also. While the image is selected, we're going to resize this image. And we just want it to cover up the wrapper. We're going to, while the image is still selected, we're going to go up to the position tab and we're going to push back. Next, I'm going to show you how you can add some text to your design. Simply click the text tab. You can select either one of these options. While the text is highlighted, hit your backspace and start typing in your text. If you wanted to change the text color while the text is still highlighted, go up to the color tab and select your new color. If you wanted to change the style of the font, click the fonts tab and you can select a new font to use. All of the free fonts are the ones that don't have this little gray crown on side of it. You can go over to the effects tabs and you can add a shadow behind your text. You can change the color of the shadow. You can play around with the offset and the transparency. If you wanted to curve your text, you can scroll down and select the curve. Next, 
Next, we're going to add an image to our design. And what you want to do, you just want to resize it to fit within the shape of your wrapper. Okay. I also wanted to show you how you can save on ink and not have to print the top portion of this page. Just simply go up to Elements, select the shape, select the color tab, just make it white, and just cover that up. And once you're done, you can select this text here and just delete it. That way, you don't have to waste unnecessary ink by printing that top border. All right, guys, let's get to the fun part. I'm about to finish up this design. I'm going to print, and I'm going to show you all how to assemble. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I did want to hop in and make a quick note that if you're going to be using these cups for your guests to drink directly out of, I highly recommend that you print your cup wrappers out on a waterproof paper. That way, if the cups get, get wet, the ink is not coming off of the cups. Also, while assembling, you want to make sure you're wearing gloves. If you're just going to be using the cups for favors, you're just going to be putting treats, unopened treats down in them. It's okay to use regular copy paper. And in this video, I'm just going to be printing the labels out on regular paper. All right, let's finish up.
All right, guys, I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my YouTube channel, and it also lets me know that you are finding these videos helpful so that I can continue to make more. If you have any ideas about future videos or templates you all would like to see me create that can be used over on Canva, drop me a comment down below. You can find this template and all of my other templates over on our website at hangingwiththekiddos.com. You can also find the links to the materials that I use to assemble in the description box down below. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye!